right, we're back. There's a new um, weekly this week. I don't really understand the weekly. I tend to learn it on the fly. I didn't play much of the weekly last week. Pardon me. I was a little preoccupied with medical stuff and also as a holiday weekend. It is it is a little laggy right now. I'm not sure why the game is, is a touch laggy. I guess because a lot of people are, are playing the... The weekly. It's a good sign. You know, you're not in traffic. You are you are traffic. Yes, yes, Chib. I understand they should add a goat to Super Auto Pets. It's just a picture of me. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let me be a, a shy driver. And I let me start a casino. That's a very good point, okay? Okay. How many wins will NL get? Zero to one. Two... Three, four, five. Well, I, I'm, I, I got tab locked. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not gonna say you should bet on ten, but historically we do, we do well on the first round for whatever reason. Let me get an iguana to go with my seahorse. Let me get a seahorse to go with my seahorse. And let me get a seahorse to go with my seahorse. People still betting on zero to one. You know, because it affects the odds, man. As soon as I win one, the odds of me getting zero to one go down. But when the odds go down, that means the odds go up of what you would get if you won, right? You know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Anyway, they already lost. Like, the odds go down, but the rate of return goes way up. If you win, which you obviously did. Okay, hatching chick. Kind of an important animal in, in a lot of circumstances. Where are we going to put it? Maybe here, maybe here, maybe here, maybe... <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, you know what? Let's give the hatching chick some meat. Let's give it a chance to stay around. Not thrilled with any of these animals, to be quite honest with you. Um, I think I would roll one more time. And then you know what? I'm going to get insane with it. I'm going to sell this beaver that has no future value. And I'm going to buy a shrimp. I don't know if that's how the game's going to be played. But that's how we're going to do it for now. Okay, I gotta admit, the team's a little spooky. It's a little scary. It's not that scary. It's scary enough I'm gonna lose this one. Okay, never mind. Goldfish scampi, kind of underrated. I would like to have one animal that does something, though. Like, it has some stats. How about a pill? How about a pill? There's no pills in the, in the pack this week? There's no pills in the pack? Okay, well, you, your ass should have left a long time ago then. I think the pug is kind of good. I have to figure out how to do it, but I, I feel like the pug is acceptable. I feel like the iguana does not need to be alive anymore. Uh, okay, um... Do you support my right to do a truly insane build? We got 8 HP. We could try this. And then buy, sell for a, for, a, for Scampy? Sell Pug and then buy, sell on the Scampy hole? Create a huge seahorse? It's just content. That's true. I guess I didn't really think about it. But in many ways, if I ever do anything bad, I can just say it's content. Okay, we lose this one as well. There's no chocolate in this either. Okay, that's hard. That's a hard thing to deal with for me. Um, I'm going to say you're gone. This is tough. Like, I really don't want to get rid of, like, a hatching chick. I guess you got to do like this. I feel like this is a, a not a good recipe for success right now. We're spending one gold on one random HP. <laughs> Bloop, bloop, bloop. But we are also saying bloop, bloop, bloop. There is that. You know what? Some garlic never hurt. 
Okay. Sanest Super Auto Pets player. Shat on a turtle. We're going to have a lot of empty space. Whatever. I think this is okay. Don't lose this round. They should add a goat to this game. You know, the, what I recently realized when I thought about um, what Chibli was saying to me is that there actually is already a goat in Super Auto Pets. It's just so not very good that I actually, like, forgot it existed when he made that joke in the first place. I mean, it's okay. Like, it's not, a, it's not the worst animal in the game, but... This seems really not good. Okay. Two gang. Give the lowest, you know what, sure. Give lowest health pet plus four HP. Okay, okay. My 5-6 hatching chick, my streamer. I think we can get one more. I mean, I, the, the thing is, I have no idea whether our team is good or bad, because I don't know what shows up on the weekly. What I do know is that I should not be losing to an ant pineapple team. <laughs> ant pineapple? Toad can be pretty good, but just start me with this. This is mighty cheap. Scampy's getting some HP. I don't really care if Scampy gets HP. I, d I don't care for it. Give me something more useful. Chicken. Give me something incredible. Give me something better. This is way too late. Don't, don't lie to me. Say chicken build. I think we have to try the coward's approach. And I still think we keep the stats on the seahorse for now. So the orangutan's probably gonna buff the chicker itself. It's gonna buff itself, okay. We could give meat to the orangutan. This is the earliest you could have gotten the chicken. Yeah, but it's like the least HP I could have and still be like fucking alive, you know? Please. No, one single garlic. Okay, we did like nothing there and that's okay because we're still figuring it out. So what I've learned so far, scaling, uh, very hard to come by. I don't see much in the way of scaling. I do see much in the way of seahorsing. It's just a dog. Yeah, bad player. That's pretty much perfect. Uh, I didn't see a dog. Like, if I, if I got a dog, I would have been pretty excited. But without a dog appearing to me, I'm not really sure what I can do in that situation. Like, if I see a dog, rest assured I will buy them. Goldfish chinchilla dog goes off. It's literally, you're, you're in the um, general store right now. You're saying, man, I would be so good at the lottery if I just had the winning numbers. You don't even know, man. I'll take a little of this. Like, if I had the winning numbers, I would win the lottery every time. You know what's messed up, though? I bet if you had the winning numbers, you actually wouldn't win the lottery every time. I bet there would be weeks where you were just a little too lazy to go to the, to the store. I bet you'd be like, oh, I don't need to win the lottery this week. I bet you'd procrastinate. Oh, it's such a hard day. The lineup at the store for me to buy my winning lottery ticket was so long. Fly Vulture goes hard. Most rational Super Auto Pets viewer. 
hey, animals you can only get in the final five rounds really go off. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Peacock has scaling. It needs some support to get there, but it does have some scaling. There's no pills, but Turtle also has, uh, it, it's not scaling, but it helps with favorable trades. I don't really want to buy anybody a croissant. I would rather roll for something more useful next time. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not really. Not interested. Okay. It is what it is. 50-50 hippo, pretty good. It's pretty good. It's I would say it's one of the best 50-50 units out there. Probably 50-50 rooster would, would shit on it, I guess. But a lot of good stuff out there in the 50-50 range. Peacock helped us out. I'll always appreciate that. The Lord of Spelunky thanks you. Garlic. We're not at garlic yet. Ooh, um, how about a little pug, though? I trust the pug. He's like a bad blobfish. Give me one more. I, I don't like to buy the temporary foods anymore. You know what? I will take that. Let's give it a shot. Hey, NL, there haven't been any new NL-isms recently. I've been busy, like, not, like, trying not to die. I know I've mentioned this in the Discord a few times. I was laughing, um, you know, my wife tweeted some nice stuff. She tweeted, like, um... Hey, my husband's lost a lot of weight and he's still dealing with his illness. I, all I want is for him to feel better. And some people in the Discord were like, oh man, this must be like worse than we thought it was. Maybe we should stop making jokes about this endlessly. And then somebody went deep into the Twitter records and was like, no, look at this tweet he made at the same time. Um, and it was the Pokemon Go official account tweeted like that, whatever the pheromone Pokemon showed up at Pokemon Go Berlin. And I said, um, damn, what's her at? And they said, he's okay. You know how little effort it takes to, to post damn, spelled wrong, what's her at? I'm struggling, man. You should not take that as an as a indicator that I'm doing okay. Quite the opposite. <laughs> okay. Take the pug level up. Sell your beaver. That's a given. Buy your dog. Sell your seahorse. Buy a dog. Combine your dogs. I can live with this for now. Just for now. I don't know, you seem fine. Honestly, that's like, um, this is a main frustration every time I talk to a doctor. I never thought that it, like, honestly, the hardest that the world ever gets is when you're a 33 year old man. And I, I, I hate to say it, but it, my experience right now, is uniquely uh, biased towards thinking that that's the, the, the reality that we live in. Every time I go to the ER or the urgent care, I'm like, please, like I've been, uh, I've had 22 straight days of diarrhea and they go, oh man, that must be really hard. Well, you look okay, so I'm gonna give you an appointment for uh, an internal medicine specialist. Uh, the, the earliest appointment we have is uh, two and a half weeks out. So, you know, uh, just go home and get some rest. Make sure you drink lots of clear fluids. And I'm like, ah. She makes me wish that I'm old, man. If I was 70 years old, I walked into the hospital and was like, I coughed this morning. They'd be like, Play they'd roll out the red carpet. No, no joke, I was in the hospital for four hours on Saturday. Um, somebody got seated, like we were in a partitioned room. They got seated in the partition right beside me. As soon as they sat down, 
nurse was like, can I get you a sandwich? And then um, he said, yeah, what kinds do you have? And then she said, we have roast beef and we have salmon. And he said, I'll take a salmon sandwich. I've been sitting there for four hours. Nobody offered me a damn sandwich. They did give me a bag of saline solution through a, an IV into my arm, which was nice. That helped out. But like, oh, could I have a sandwich, please? <laughs> I would also love a sandwich, don't get me wrong. When fluid goes off, it makes you feel like a god. I'm not going to mess with you. When that first fluid bag was about halfway done, I felt kind of euphoric. Oh, no. I do need to figure out what I'm doing here. I think the turtle can live for now. How about one of these? Sell the chinchilla. Oh, no. She fell down. Everybody's been there, and I don't mean on vacation. He sold the chinchilla. <laughs> well, honestly, just give me the dog. for. I'll just hold on to the dang dog for now. That doesn't bother me. And then we'll look for some good buy sells for next time. You're not really good buy sells, just for the record. Yeah, okay. You, you, I, I can see why. I can see why. I'd see why we'd stick you around. I don't even want to tell you this, Chibli, by the way, but my baby, instead of saying falling over, she legit says fall off all the time. Which I'm sure you find very humorous. Well, it's not very humorous when you're, it's your baby that says fall off, fall off. Uh, 10 times a day. I'm willing to kickstart my HP. I, I, it's not like I'm relying on Scampy here, but I think at some point we got to... Well, honestly, we probably kind of ditched the Peacock. Stick with the Pug for now. Their dog is just better than mine. I'm I'm frightened. And I, I think I deserve to be. Live. Never mind. I'm the best to ever do it. Or do we sell the... Maybe we could sell the pug and the turtle. I have to think about this. You know what? The turtle's doing good stuff. I hate to do it, but maybe the pug goes first. Just give us some support. I would love to have some good buy sells, but if we don't get them, then sure, we'll just do buy and sell. Don't mind. Okay, if you got to do it, you got to do it. How about a buy sell? How about a buy sell? And a little kangaroo. Ooh, yeah, a little kangaroo for now, but we'll sell in a bit anyway. Dude, I don't know. We'll talk about garlic. Are there lemons in this? Are there lemons in this pack? I'm a big lemon guy. Holy cow, he's done it. Just garlic? Okay. Well, in that case, we, we love a garlic. We can sell the turtle. I don't even think we want a level two turtle. For our peacock, maybe? You're not wrong. Garlic on the peacock might be better than garlic on the dog. I like to live out of the box, though. It's one of the most interesting things about me. I think you sell your kangaroo, you go, you go yada yada. You go yada yada. It's a bit of a strange team, I'll admit. I didn't really think that part through. Ooh, no. Okay, hold on. What? I don't, well, maybe at some point we'll want a level three turtle. 
Garlic useless? Yes, that's true. That is true. <laughs> that's pretty true. That's a good point. Okay, not, not a banner round for me, but check this out, okay? Your ass is definitely gone. Your ass is combined. And then... We're popping. This is the best thing that could have happened to our dog. Then your ass is gone. Okay. I still want a kangaroo. I have no idea how we're going to set this up. We, I know we have to make some moves. <laughs> To, to put it lightly, I mean, you're, you're an interesting scaler. We could talk about some food-related issues here. I think we want it to be set up like this. What? I think we're fine. I'm getting a lot of question marks, but, like, this team, it, it, it has possibilities, man. Snail blind? You're aware the snail is a 1-1 buff. Is this acceptable to you? You're aware of this? Here we go. Thank you. Roll me. Roll me. Come on. You know there's going to be good foods in here for a seal. You just have to find them. I guess a green pepper is not really one of them, huh? You know what? What about a green pepper on a kangaroo then? Rolled the dog? We don't need the damn dog, dude. He's already he, the 30-32. He's already got the moves. No, not like this. Two hit him. And then one more. Okay, somehow still alive. I need to feed this seal. Or we need to bail on the seal. Let's find something crazy. It's an interesting idea to just wholesale get rid of this and run fly vulture. Or just fly? Or just vulture? <laughs> Level 3 fly. Can you scroll me? Let's scroll me. Summons a 12-12 fly in its place. Why not? You don't get to see it too much. I would prefer if you didn't get sniped. I'm not that concerned about it. I've decided I'm not that concerned about it. Maybe a green pepper in your future? All right, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I don't think our SEAL team was going to get us there. The snipe just crushed us. Okay, there's seven wins, seven wins. What do you think about selling the turtle for a vulture? It's an interesting idea. Step zero is building the time machine. Sure, why not? We have no pills, so the ants kind of pissing me off, but whatever. Let's be a green finger. You hear about green thumbs a lot? That was like watching a car crash. I mean, like, I'm, I'm actually, I, I've tried to impress this upon people many times, much like my doctor. They don't appear to uh, take my comments about his severity at face value for whatever reason. I'm playing Super Auto Pass, but really, I'm just kind of like at work right now. My main priority is, is keeping my metabolic processes functioning and hoping to get a course of antibiotics today. So I actually think it's, it's made me more resistant from the backseating because normally my number one priority is playing Super Auto Pets as best as possible. But what's happening right now is that like 
I have bigger priorities in life. And then people are like, hey, you kind of misplayed that round. And I'm like, oh, no. Well, anyway. People talk, people talk, people talk. You guys are going to be so fucking haunted. I'm, I'm honestly kind of looking forward to it. I'm going to haunt your ass for like 70 years. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm at the point of like... Um, like Ralphie from A Christmas Story where he gets his mouth washed out with soap and he's like, I actually hope I die so that I, I, or I go blind so I can make my mom feel guilty about giving me soap poisoning. Antibiotics can mess up your bowel and then you need a poop transplant. This is not a joke. Man, they should never prescribe antibiotics then. That sounds really bad. Oh, wait, it saves people from life-saving bacterial infections tens of thousands of times daily? Oh, well, okay, in that case, shut up. <laughs> he said the word wrong. He said the word wrong. Oh, my God, so annoying. Okay, Peacock was not our problem last time. Here's the thing. You know you can never kill the ants. We might as well combine them. Overuse of antibiotics is actually a huge issue. Right now, my biggest issue is, I would say, the underuse of antibiotics. It's actually easier to get, like, a weapon than it is to get antibiotics. I understand on, like, a societal level that for fucking 40 years, people could just go to the hospital and go like, hey, I have a sore throat. And they'd be like, here's a bunch of antibiotics for you. We're not even going to run any tests. Just, just run like seven courses of amoxicillin. Um, they've ruined it for everybody. I'm out here fighting for my damn life. I can't get antibiotics. It would be easier to buy like a fucking ninja star. The death of the microbiome is so melancholy. So long, my love. Okay. What am I doing? Where's our future? Our future is not with the bluebird. So don't worry about that. Our future is with none of these animals. Our future is peacock garlic, but let's give it a croissant so we can at least get some, uh, some attack before then. And let's roll for a level. I mean, we're not even close to a level. I mean, I'm embarrassed to say it. I think this gives us a better chance here at least, but. Imagine if they invented a pro antibiotic. <laughs> Imagine. Nothing could stop us then. If you could eat some Danan yogurt that implanted bacteria in your gut and then immediately killed it. Okay, roll me. Sure. We're setting up, we want to be like a round five superstar. It's not going to be koala. I would take two otters as a, as a boost over an iguana at the very least. I would take a leveled up ant just to get the level. Hold on. We can do this. Oh, we can do this. Hold on. I've received a message on my telephone. It's, it's, that, was, that was just my weather app telling me it's cloudy outside. Thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> That's why I have to have my ringer on in case my doctor calls. I keep getting these like Samsung notifications that are like, just so you know, it's cloudy outside. And I'm like, yep, I know. Burp, 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 burp. This is a 1-1 one, one buff on a random unit. Honestly, what was I thinking? We don't need that. I, I do kind of want a kangaroo to pop, but it's not, it's like not the right time yet. It's not the right time yet. Okay, you piece of shit. 
That's what we're talking about. Okay, a super pug. Now you got me thinking, hold on. We could spit out a 5-8 eel. Is that something we're interested in next round? A 5-8 eel? It's not that amazing, but it's, it's something. At least get you out of bed in the morning. It'll be a 5-4. Um, and what does the eel do at level 2? What are these eel emojis? Holy cow. Moon 2 LL. Moon 2 E. -E. Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> I think I understand now. Okay, forget the peacock. You've had your chance. Never mind, you're gonna stick around for just a bit. You are, just let me think about you for a second. Let me think, you know, for now, you're gonna be a seven four, which means you're gonna be a seven eight. I do wanna give you garlic eventually, but like for now, I feel like I'm okay giving you some meat, get some favorable trades. I would say that that worked out as well as it possibly could have in my head. Roll me. I just don't see you mattering. What about a dragonfly? One one to a pet of each level. I think I gotta embrace it, man. And I think I gotta put... Is very weird. I think I have to put like the dragonfly at the front. Then it'll hit you and you, which is exactly what I want. Instead of you or you or you. We got to get rid of this ant too. I don't think it's in service of a hippo or any of this. Honestly, I, I mean, let's go for broke, okay? We got 7 HP. Scaling's at a premium. Let's try some super scaling. I would love a level 2 dragonfly. It's gonna suck Ray for this. I mean, if we run up against the hippo, we're gonna be very upset. A scorpion? Holy cow, we drew. <laughs> dragonfly. Nothing good. Dragonfly me. Another pug? Another pug? What the heck am I gonna do with another pug, man? Okay, honestly, I mean, I think you need garlic as well. You know what? Just take it for now. You never know. Might come in handy. You could probably take one of these. You would become a 6-9. Nice. A 6-18 with meat. I think there's something to that. And a lynx. I don't know, maybe, maybe we find a way for it. I don't like a vulture. I find a vulture quite terrifying. Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening. You piece of crap. <laughs> okay, we're not dead yet though. I don't really, I don't really need it is the thing. I don't know, like I'm in like psycho mode now. Go, just buff anything. Give me a dragonfly, please. Rhino, rhinoceros, really? After everything we've been through together? I gotta put your ass like right here? I don't think this team's getting anywhere, man. This hippo's gonna eat me alive. That would be the eating alive. How do you scale in this pack? I'm, I'm struggling mightily here. The dog is obvious. If you don't have a dog, how do you scale in this pack? With the orangutan. Okay. An interesting idea, to be sure. But a welcome one. The orangutan. 
Something to think about. Goldfish, dog, chinchilla. Li again, if I had the lottery winning numbers every time, I'd win the lottery every time. Yeah, this one's going nowhere. Or is it going somewhere? Scale me? And he's scaling in the pack. And he's scaling. Like, you're giving me 1-1 one, one on two units. That cannot be good enough. I think I gotta get your ass out of here. I'm gonna put a damn scorpion out here. I don't really want to put a pug out here, but I got very little else to do. It's a great scorpion trade. I don't know if we got much else after that. Wait a minute. Don't, don't, don't crit me. Okay, we're still drawing somehow. Level two scorpion. My dog stepped on a bee. I'm not tilted. I just, I do, with God as my witness, I have no idea what I'm looking for. I, I, at present, I still lack a mental model for how we're going to get out of this one. I mean, the bee just won us around, which is crazy. But like, I, I still, as of yet, don't really know what I'm looking for. Okay, so the orangutan scaling people tell me is important. The question is, what the hell you give up? Early croissant plus orangutan. It's too late for the orangutan. Okay, okay. People are like, he's addicted to rolling. Well, I don't really like trading any of my good units for any of these ass units. I guess you could just buy canned food <laughs> on lethal. You could just psychotically purchase canned food and pray for the best. Okay, you're actually going to become kind of like a stud. Now we have a, a bit of a waste going on here because we're making a unit level three twice. I'm thinking. If we live through this one, which I would say is kind of unlikely, we could create a level three fly. Don't shoot my scorpion, you piece. Okay, fair enough. You got me. I didn't think we were going to live through that one. Three wins. Choose outcome. Three wins. I don't know. Everyone told me this weekly was fun. I'm having a, a devil of a time figuring out how to get my, my hands around it. I guess